Today, I'm gonna try to put a skin on my MacBook Air. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with my Decal Girl stickers. Now, it actually comes in a full set, so you get a top cover, a bottom cover, and then some covers for the inside, but I'm not gonna put the inside covers, because, yeah, I think that's fine. It's not really something that I think is gonna get abused that I'm worried about protecting. But the outside here of this 2021 MacBook Air M1 is just aluminum and it can get scratched up. And since I just unboxed it, I wanna get some protection on there. It can never be too safe. And I went ahead and made this. Now, this is actually a piece of artwork that is in the Detroit Institute of Arts. It's showing the assembly line workers, but what they did back in 1989 is they created this version with this well i guess it was a formula one car i call them indie cars but i think it was actually part of formula one back in the day and i used to go down and watch the detroit grand prix this was grand prix eight now the color scheme here was a little different it wasn't yellow it was blue and the font was a little dated <laughs> not like me and mila kunis but just dated as an old and kind of out of style and i would rather have the brighter yellow here to kind of match the car so i went ahead and just remade it a little bit and this is when it was june 16th 17th 18th uh in 1989 i remember going down town my father got us tickets to watch it from an office on a high rise so it was cool man i just kept taking pictures of the cars i had one of those little disposable cameras and i just kept taking photos photo photos and then i kind of realized later they all look exactly the same when you get home but it's like i wanted a photo of every one of the different teams man i don't know it was pretty cool hearing the sound the noises i mean it really epitomizes the motor city so what we have here is the top and the bottom one has denoted by this little cutout for the hinge i believe that's how the sucker works and also the little punch outs look like they kiss cut or laser cut so that you can get those little rubber feet in there okay so, um, I'm going to start with the bottom because I feel like I might be um, kind of looking at just how accurate the size is and all that. And I just want to make sure that I put this on and if it has like a little millimeter of space or forgiveness, then I'll know that when I do the top, which is what you're going to see. If I pull this away, you can see that the little kiss cut feet are all the way out here. And I just want to do a little dry fit and see how close this is. Uh, you know, it's pretty close. It looks like the feet are maybe just a little off. Maybe it'll fit when I put it down. But I'm actually going to just go ahead and take the whole thing off here. And I'm just going to lay it on here. It's going to stick. It'll be a little forgiving, but you want to kind of work quickly once you decide to put it down and commit. So you don't want to have commitment issues on here. Come on, baby, line up for me. Line up, baby. Lock up, baby. Lock up. Lock up. Yes, good tone. Good tone. I've got good tone. All right. Good tone. Firing. And then I just work it back and forth as I lay the rest down. Kind of start from the middle out, so <laughs> middle out compression, so that I don't get any air bubbles because then you have to kind of walk them all the way to the edge. And then I kind of go on the outside here. If you do have some pretty extreme curves on your computer that it doesn't seem to be hugging, you can see I'm getting a little ripples there, but I can just kind of work them out with my finger because it's not very extreme. You could just get out your heat gun or your hair dryer, and I think just shrink it down a little bit to get it really perfect. But like I said, even that's working out right there just fine, all the way down. You're watching this whole thing live, so if this thing goes to heck, um, it's gonna be pretty embarrassing for me. I go on my permanent record. I won't be able to see that. Ooh, looks pretty good. All right. So I definitely like starting with the bottom. Less pressure. And you can see here, Decal Girl does a nice job. It is perfectly lined up on that foot. But as you can see here, maybe we just have, uh, could be a millimeter lower on that side. Same on this side because it's lined up. I use these two top ones to line up. So could have I could have maybe just pushed it down half a millimeter here and split the difference. But I didn't, so that's how it works. Now, the top here looks like there really isn't a top and bottom, but I want this looking up when it's open, not upside down. So I'm going to orient it in the same way that the logo is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off here. And, all right, baby. Oh, I need you now, Billy Baru. 
I need you now. I need you. I need you. Come on. Line up for me, baby. All right. I'm going to push it. I'm going to not quite go right to the leading edge. It looks like it's kind of giving me, I don't know, a millimeter of forgiveness all the way around because it's not quite, quite going side to side. All right, man. I hope that's right. I kind of tacked it right in the middle, but I'm going to walk it back and forth up to the top here. Oh, man. This is it's pretty nerve wracking. I'm going to walk it down here. All right. All right. That's pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. There isn't as much of a curve on the top, so I'm getting even fewer of those little wrinkles. And I'll just work it out all the way to the edges. Yeah, yeah. And I was right about, you know, I saw that there was a little gap on either side, so I thought maybe there's gonna be a millimeter, so I left a little gap on the top. And look at this, if I flip it over on the bottom, I've got just a little bit of gap. Maybe just the slightest larger gap down here on the bottom than the top, but that is good enough for government work. So I have gone ahead and put my own custom decal on top of this 2021 MacBook Air M1, and you saw everything real time, so that's all it takes. Looks good, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be much more eager to work with a good looking laptop. And if you need a little motivation to open up your laptop and crack down and punch out some work, eh, you know, putting skin on it just might do that. Eh, at the very least, it's fun to customize your computer. Uh, if you want to pick up Decal Girl skins or any other of the skins, they're kind of all the same material usually, like this 3M type of material. I'll put links to them in the description so you can pick it up for your computer. Peter Von Panda, out. Yeah.